Well, I think today's the day we're going to shell some corn. Um, it's like, uh, let's see here, it's March 9th. Um, I think we're going to get that bad boy out and go for it. Got to clean some mess up around the 4040 so I can get it out to get the sheller out. And I got some uh, stuff out here in the way that I got to get out of the way to get the, the 4040 and the sheller out. But it still needs to warm up. So, um, guess we'll start with that. We got to plug the 4040 in because it is a cold-blooded thing. So, plugging the, uh, plug the extension cord in here and... Gotta figure out where all it's hooked to. Don't really need light on here. So, pull that thing off the wall. Yeah, she's a cold blooded tractor. So, I know. I don't really. Whatever. It is what it is. Needs an overhaul, but. Yeah. I don't have the time or the money right now to do it, so it's not going to get fun. So there it is. Um, guess I better do some chores here. And uh, probably better fire the backhoe up, get it warming up, get it out of the way. I think they're going to do some more ditching, so I need to move that dirt over there out of the road and uh, go from there. We'll catch you all in a bit. Okay, I got it all set up. Um, took me a little bit. I didn't film any of it because I had to go here, there, and everywhere to gather enough junk to, you know, the wagons and the spreader and all that stuff. So here we are, uh, 6:30. I just got it hooked on there just to balance it out. Um, it's not really going to do much. It's just kind of there so it doesn't fall off the jack. Um, I guess we'll start at the beginning. Uh, the 70 diesel today is going to be our power for the uh, on the belt. Um, I haven't had it out in a while, and quite frankly, I just wanted to run it. So we've had a lot of uh, videos on the 630. So this is what we're going to do: got the belt running from the 70 to the sheller. Um, basically, run it full throttle. Uh, it's like 750 RPM, I think, is what it's after. Or says it right there um, so here uh, we're gonna have to run from the basically the wagon in turn goes up this elevator into the top there's a cylinder right here that's actually what's doing the shelling and then it goes down into a set of se separators um, the it's basically like concave and sieve kind of on a combine those are in there that separates the husks out from the shelled corn. There's a fan that blows that. The cobs come up this elevator and I'm just putting them on the manure spreader for now. I don't really have a use for them. Sometimes we grind them, we use them as oil dry. We also use them as embedding. So, so 
So that's what it's gonna be like. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, film, what, well, I'm gonna start it up. I haven't ran it yet, so I'm gonna start it up without the camera just in case something happens. Um, and give it a whirl, and then I'm gonna try to get the camera set up, and uh, we're gonna try to show a little bit of corn today. So we'll catch you in a bit. Here's the deal. Ran it a little bit. Uh, figured out I gotta fix a couple things. Uh, most important is we gotta put some sort of rope on that so it doesn't walk off the wagon. And then uh, we come around here. And I'm not real worried about the fan, but the fan uh, pretty well uh, isn't working out for me. So uh, I definitely got some cob on the ground. I got some shell or shelled corn on the ground. I've kind of gotta figure that out, I guess. So, but uh, it's start. So it does shell corn. I guess there is some, you know, that stuff. Maybe we'll just blow it toward the pasture. <laughs> guess if I got to, I can uh, put the. Uh, if I got to, I can put the a rope on it too. So I guess I'm gonna kind of pause things for a little bit. I'm gonna go try to find a rope, tie some of this stuff back, and then uh, get back at it.
Well, uh, in conclusion, I think I'm going to give up filming. Uh, Dad wants to see uh, the rest of it. There's not a whole lot left in the, the wagon. So, he basically wants to see shell the rest of it out. So, I got to wait till he gets off of work. I uh, got a good pile of cobs in there yet. We're just going to spread them out on the field. There ain't no use keeping them. Uh -huh. So that's basically the concept of it. Shelling corn with a number seven John Deere sheller. Um, if you like this stuff, be sure to uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully uh, this spring we can get some of this old stuff out and uh, keep playing with it. So I'm gonna let the 70 cool off here and take the slack off the belt. And I guess we'll just kind of end you with a view of the i believe it's an all original number seven john deere sheller so uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, hope to see you back